Here's a program that prints a person's approximate age in days. If we compile it and run it, it works great. But each part of the output is on a separate line because we used system.out.println, which prints the information and then gives you a new line. If you don't want a new line, use system.out.print instead. Let's print the first part of the output without going to a new line. We'll change this println to a print, recompile, and run it again. Now our output appears on one line, but it's all bunched together. To make it look better, we need to put an explicit space between the words and the numbers. Notice that the space must be inside the double quotes. Let's recompile and run. There, that's better. The last line of output the number is produced with system.out.println. This is absolutely essential. Why? Let's change this println to a print. Recompile and rerun. When we run it from Genie's execute command, it seems to be okay. But let's say someone doesn't have Genie and runs the program directly from the command line. They run it by typing Java and the name of the program, and they get this as a result. The next command prompt appears on the same line as the last output, and that is incredibly ugly. Let's change that last print back to println and recompile. Now let's go back to the command prompt, clear it, and try running the program again. And this time, the next prompt shows up on a new line, and that looks much better. And that is why you should always use system.out.println for the last output of your program.